With IMSA issuing a heat alert for the Metro, first responders want us to be extra careful in this dangerous heat this weekend. Some reminders, be sure to stay hydrated with water or electrolytes. Plus, try to wear light colored and loose fitting clothing. Best place to be at by the pool with some, with a big bottle of water. Yeah, or in the studio where it's freezing. Yeah, <laughs> or inside, <laughs> inside, just inside. Yeah, that's a, a good idea. And a lot of people are really going to have to take those necessary heat precautions over the next re really several days. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, was unbearably hot today. I, that map was just covered in triple digits yes, everywhere. Yes, yes, <laughs> it felt like easily over 100 degrees across much of the state today. And just kind of looking at Storm Shell Nine, very quiet. But but we do have some severe storms in Kansas and they're dropping south. But all the latest data is showing that these should continue to actually weaken and fall apart as they try to make their way into far northeast Oklahoma. But if it does make it into Oklahoma, you'd be very lucky to get a little bit of rain. Today, it was very dry. It was very hot. It was also very humid. 94 degrees in Oklahoma City, 102 in Alva, 103 this afternoon in Altus, and 101 degrees in Lawton. But after factoring in those dew points that were well into the 70s today, it fell anywhere between about 100 degrees to around 111, 112, 111 in Altus. So basically the triple digits all around the state and unfortunately this is the kind of weather that we're going to have to be getting used to over the next several days now the heat advisory is already going through tomorrow but i wouldn't be surprised if it has to be extended throughout really the next several days we've actually upgraded eastern oklahoma to that excessive heat watch because we are expecting the dew points to climb even higher out that way so the future heat index notice it goes down a little bit as we get to about tuesday into wednesday but we're also still going to stay in that dangerous category so numbers are really not going to move a whole lot to really make any significant deal so this is our national cowboy museum camera part of our pike pass sky cam network clear skies but it's still very warm we're at 83 degrees we've got a south southeast wind at 11 miles an hour with dew points in the mid 70s it still feels more like 90 degrees even at this hour so temperatures in the upper 70s to mid 80s across the north, lots of low to mid 80s across the south. Still a couple of upper 80s showing up, 89 degrees is the air temperature in Altus and some upper 70s across the far east. But the dew points are well into the 70s across central and eastern Oklahoma. We have a couple of upper 60s showing up out to the west, but a southeast wind between about 10 to 15 miles an hour. It's going to stay pretty light overnight tonight. We're really not expecting the wind to do a whole lot tonight, but it's actually going to be picking up as we get into tomorrow. See this area of high pressure out to the west well that is where the heat dome is and that's exactly going to be moving off to the east here over the next couple of days and eventually it's going to move even farther off to the east but I'm really not expecting the big time storm system to move in so it's just going to continue to get hotter it's going to be a little bit more humid it's going to be dangerously hot and humid and we've got some storm systems that are going to stay to the north that's where any rain chances and any cool air will stay there is a very slight chance maybe in the panhandle over the next couple of days we get a couple of isolated showers and storms, but chances are very minimal at best. Now, as we get into late week of next week and into around June 20th or so, it does look like this area of high pressure is going to kind of move off to the east a little bit more. We're going to have a stronger storm system move in from the west, and that could allow for some more rain chances here eventually. So tonight, temperatures drop down into the low to mid 70s. Tomorrow afternoon, a lot like today, but probably a couple of degrees warmer than what we had this afternoon. So 90 degrees or 96 degrees rather in Oklahoma City, 105 in Ponca City, 107 in Alvin, 106 tomorrow afternoon in Altus. Tomorrow evening, there is that slight chance of rain and storms in the Panhandle. Monday, 97 degrees, 104 in Alva, 104 in Altus, 102 degrees in Lawton. By Tuesday, temperatures go down a couple of degrees, but it's still going to be hot. 96 in Ponca City, 100 in Alva, 98 in Lawton. 97 degrees in Ardmore. So your 9 day forecast isn't really going to show you anything that's too exciting. It looks very hot and boring around here for a while, Jennifer. All right, it is definitely summertime.